It's real common for front and back doors not to line up, not to lock and close properly, the seams not to line up. Uh, kind of all around, especially where, where water can come into a property. The window sills, they can actually get behind the window uh, into the wall. Uh, here's an example of a not too good repair job. Electrical issues are a big concern with mobile homes as well. Mom and pop type of kind of amateur hour repair jobs that obviously need to be corrected by your handyman or electrician. Amateur plumbing jobs as well. This just looks terrible for ceiling repair. Pipes that sometimes go nowhere. You can see daylight clearly from the perimeter of mobile home. That has to be fixed. Uh, mismatched carpet inside of bathrooms, wallpaper, uh, off-color countertops. <laughs> Doors missing. That's quite common. Drywall repairs. There's more drywall repairs needed. Holes. ACs as well, window air units, that's in new build, uh, new units as well, new new homes as well, window air units, big units, small units, old ones, new ones. If you see a big AC unit and window unit, something's wrong or the home's not that efficient. Holes in the outside, here's a newspaper stuck in the mobile home. That just shows kind of like a low pride of ownership. Here the hot water heater, there's no door on it, water's just been kind of raining in there over time, causing rot. Underneath the home you see this bird's nest, some wasps. Two different types of flooring. The insulation is gone. Here the insulation is, uh, has seen better days for sure. Unpermitted structures. Here you can see a crack in the window. Here's another example of that unpermitted structure that was just added on to the exterior of the mobile home. Uh, here is where a mobile home may be sinking in. Underneath the cinder blocks may be again sinking in. These are super cool. So this is an older home, and uh, it's going down the highway, so you have some extra place to put your storage. Look at that. Just these flaps that open up on the bottom. And that wood looks really good. Definitely the original. But look at that. These flaps. How cool is that? Alright, secret bonus video time. I'm walking through a mess of a property right now. I just parked the car around the corner, but this is a piece of property. This is a 16 by 70 mobile home that I'm thinking about purchasing. Uh, I wanted to give you a few tips on this video. I always bring pepper spray whenever I'm walking through a property that I don't know what's going on. The owner's not here, uh, but he said that one of the doors should be open. Uh, whenever I'm going into a home, you want to make sure that it's the right property and it's vacant. But yeah, realtor, I always yell realtor, even though I'm not a realtor any longer. I still want to yell realtor people, realtor, this is not the police or an intruder. So here we have the master bedroom. No surprise. It looks terrible. I don't know the backstory of why uh, this home is so messy, but it is 200 amp coming into the home. But this looks good. I mean, underneath this carpet can definitely be kept. Uh, you have your choice of great reading material in the washer and dryer area. Now the power is not currently turned on at the moment, uh, but I do want to make sure to push really hard against the walls, especially underneath the windows. All oh, that looks good. All oh, that feels really sick. This dip in the carpet is definitely a soft spot. We can peel this up. Tough to peel up, but absolutely a soft spot. There's a 2x4 I'm standing on, and there's a 2x4, and right in the middle, completely soft. No surprise, right by the window. I mean, you can really see the difference whenever this mobile home is on a hill. The skirting that you need up front is only maybe a little bit over a foot, and then it really spaces out here. This has got to be four feet high or so, up to me. But you can really tell underneath. Eh, yeah, the bottom is really intact. That moisture barrier, definitely doing its job. That looks great. There it is, right there. Yeah. Okay. You can barely tell. Yeah, they just press it mm -hmm. right into there. Very cool. Yeah. All right, right in the front. 
<laughs> we had such trouble finding it. You got a little bit of a... Yeah, I'm going to go that. That's a... Yeah, that is a good spot. This is a two-bedroom, but uh -huh. adding a bedroom right here, eight by eight, mm -hmm. just to kind of cut in right here, you'd yeah. still have room for a table, a couch. Be a little cramped, but that would not be bad. Yeah. Turn a two-bedroom into a three-bedroom.